Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Retrieve What Was Stolen. My name's Natasha Wire. To all my new subscribers, welcome to the family here at Retrieve. You know, we're busy retrieving all that the enemy has tried to steal from us in every area of our lives. We're retrieving it all. Joel 225 here. And to my current and, and, and existing subscribers, thank you for your loyalty. Thank you for just chugging along in this journey. I love you all and I really do appreciate you all. So guys, today I've just got a sh short message. It's not a big long one. It's one that's been on my heart and it's been burning and burning and burning. And you know, it's amazing how when you look back at a, a, a word that God has given you and then you look at it and you see the notes that you place beside it. And I just want to share this for anyone that feels that they're in a season or a place. It's actually a place, not a season, sorry, a place of utter darkness right now. And it's so dark to you that you don't even see no way out. You're looking to the left and the right and you're, and you're trying to even to plan to think, what can I do to come out of this? You know, what about if I do this over here? And nothing, look, nothing is looking like it's going to work out. It's that dark right now. But guess what? God says something about dark places, yeah? And I'm going to take you to the scripture now. I've got to put on my glasses, guys, because I cannot see my word without it. Don't worry, I'm praying over my eyes. Yeah, don't worry, I've been praying for healing, man. So it's in Micah 7 and 8, and it says, Do not rejoice over me, O my enemy, and enemies, let's keep it real, and frenemies. Yeah, though I have fallen, I will stand up. Though I sit in darkness, the Lord will be my light. And in the notes, I've written this to myself, yeah, when I was in my utter dark place. And, I'm, and when I read it back now, I laugh at myself, and I've put Tasha. You better take this scripture, you better eat it, sleep on it, swallow it, meditate it, because Papa will vindicate you. Yeah, and guess what, brother or sister, he's going to vindicate you too. That yes, today, right now, you might be sitting in utter darkness, but guess what? You are going to stand up and the Lord will be your light and he will lead you out. And then I want to share this with you. First Peter 5 and 10 says, that after your season of suffering, God in all his grace will restore you, confirm you and strengthen you and establish you. And that's what happens. The Bible says, yeah, that there's a time under heaven for everything. And in this season of darkness, in this season of suffering, remember it is only a season. Yeah. Now I want to, I, want to, I just want to throw this out to you because I'm telling you it encouraged me and it's so true. Yeah. Remember, he's the God of the turnaround like that just like that one minute king david yeah was not king david he's he's out in the field tending to the sheep okay the next minute he's the king yeah let's look at ruth who one minute was working the field bam the next minute she owns a field yes you might be in darkness today my brother or sister but guess what tomorrow will change or the week after will change he is the God of the turnaround. He is the God that takes us out of dark places. And if you meditate on that scripture, when the enemy tries to come in, when your feelings try to get the better of you and you're looking around at your situation and you're thinking nothing is lining up with what God promised me, what God said, nothing and looks like it, feels like it, I can't even think it anymore, then you need to go to Micah 7 and 8 and you need to meditate on this word and you need to speak it back to yourself, just as I did in my dark places, okay? And you need to stand on the promise that yes, I have fallen. Yes, I'm in utter darkness. But guess what? The Lord is my light and I will stand up. I'm going to stand up in Jesus' name. Ecclesiastes 3.11 says this. He says, I make all things beautiful in my timing. And you know what it is, family? He really, he really, really does. He makes things all beautiful in his timing. So that's literally all I have for you today. It is literally just a little word of encouragement that's been burning on my heart to share um, with you guys. For those that feel like there's just nowhere out, uh, this ain't changing. I've been in this place for too long. I've been in this darkness. I've been in this hole for too long. That's a life in the pits of hell. You need to go to your word. You need to take the word of God and you need to make it work for you because this is what it says. The thing is, God's kingdom is a voice activated kingdom and we get what we say in the kingdom of God. I always say this, I have today what I said yesterday and trust me, last year I said a lot of things and I could see it playing out. 
yeah and um I saw it played out. I see it manifest. So you know what? I had to change the declarations in my mouth because you cannot be speaking to feet and expect to see victory. We just can't have it. It just does not work. It's a spiritual law. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. So if you're in that dark place, you better take this word. You better find some scriptures that the Lord has led you to. Like for me, it was Micah 7 and 8. Yeah, And you better stand on that word. You better eat it. You better meditate on it. So when your feelings are getting the better of you, when the devil's getting the better of you, you you speak it out and tell him straight what's what what time it is that yes I may be in darkness today but the Lord is my light and I will stand up again because you will stand up it's not over the best is yet to come it's always yet to come because he has his best interests in his heart for us you know and the best is always yet to come so I pray that word blessed you it's nothing long today but um I really love you all and um, I will see you next week. All right, guys, I'm praying for you. Just remember that God loves you like crazy and so do we here at Retrieve. Take care.